So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to achieve this effect on Pixel App. And in case you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about this broken effect. You can see that the picture of this guy is spread across these individual shapes. So I want to show you how you can achieve this on Pixel App. So quickly, this will be very quick. I'm just going to go to Pixel Lab and we are going to make this happen but um i need to explain something that this has to be done very very carefully um if you are not if you cannot um, arrange all the elements accurately you will not have the perfect result but just follow my instructions and you will get it so the first thing you want to do is to arrange your shapes together and uh First off, I think what you want to do is to first, um, like, you know, put in a square shape. So let's just assume that uh, the background could be, let's say, white. Uh, yeah, let's say white. So the first thing you want to do is to put in a square shape. Now, this square shape is very important because this is what helps you to accurately place other elements. Just follow me. You understand what I'm saying? So um, let's say the background is... Mm, okay let's say let's say the background is yellow then let's make the shape white so the shape would be white let's say white so this is perfect square you can see it so let us um lock it okay now we have this so the next thing you want to do now is to line up your um your element and when i mean elements i'm talking about all these various shapes that the image is you know that the image is inserted in so let's us uh, align them so let me say i'll make them color let me say color black so the first thing i'll do is to put this right here uh, like this i'll put this first one here I'm going to adjust it like this. Okay, let me. Uh -huh. Then I would increase the. I'm going to um, duplicate it. Duplicate it and place it here. Same place, accurately, just, just inside the box at that corner, at this corner here. I would adjust this one just there, like this. You will see what we're going to achieve at the end of the day. Then uh, let me see. I'll duplicate this again. I'll duplicate this, I'll reduce the size, I'll place it here, like this, then let me duplicate it again, and I'll place it here, uh, let's say, like this. Then let me duplicate this one then i would increase it position it right here like this then i would yeah i could just take it up a bit like this fine then i'll duplicate it um i'm going to click on uh, copy to duplicate then i'll put this one right here okay i could make it like this so now you can see the importance of this white shape you can see that all these black shapes are properly arranged in the uh in the in the white shape you know um so that they are accurately positioned this is very important then right now i can just go and then delete the um white shape or let, let me not even delete it let me just leave it so now that i've arranged my shape i need to choose this the different colors i want so if you look at this particular image you can see we have like orange here we have black pop, uh, pink we have orange you know so let's just say okay this can be um okay let me position this that was a mistake uh auto front so let's start with the first shape if you don't want to touch the shape just to you know avoid mistake just click on this then click on your shape one by one so i'm going to change this to let's say i want to use orange 
like this okay then I'll click on this one I think this is the next one yes I'll make it orange then um, those ones can be black then this one can be what should I make this one let's say uh, let's say gray yes then this one gray boom then i can delete my shape now i can delete it then now that i've done this i'm going to mark i'm going to click on this icon right here and then i'm going to mark everything then once i don't i've done that i'll click on this icon click on it to combine all the elements together so now that i've done this they have become one element you can see you can see they have become one element so this is what we want to achieve then the next you want to do now is click on it go to texture click on texture click on your image you know so go select the image you want to use um, and of course remember you must have removed the background of your image so let's go and look for an image without a background so I can use uh, let me look for something that I know I can use and we need a portrait it works for portrait images so let's look for like a portrait image that we can use mm. so we can use uh, we can use something like this this looks cool but uh, let me see I can use this this is my picture I can decide to use this now listen to this aspect so if you want to insert your image make sure you click on this to crop it into a square so click on this so that it crops into a square now this square is significant because remember that we aligned all our shapes all our elements in a square so this is very important so that the image can perfectly fit in so now that it's square we cannot decide to resize it you can see it's square then you can decide to resize it as as much as you want now that i've done this i'm just i'm just going to click this so you can see we have this now it doesn't fit perfectly so let's uh, do it again now the reason it doesn't fit perfectly is because uh, maybe I resized it too small but the, but the square is perfect so let's do this again I'm going to just uh, click on it click on square and then click on this so you can see this is the effect so let me make my background white so you can see this is the effect so you can see this one and then you can see this then you can increase the size depends on what you want but this is how you achieve the same effect and then you can position your shapes anyhow you want you know you can even make it circle you can make it i don't know anyhow you know i just decided to align these shapes but you can align your shape anyhow you want really that's 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 it you can align your shapes anyhow you want so that's it i hope this video was helpful yes give it a thumbs up like this video and let me know in the comments you know share your thoughts in the comments um what you think about the tutorial